Hi everyone, I'm David Van Schravendijk from Texas Instruments in Silicon Valley. Systems designers for so many of today's portable electronic devices are relying on highly advanced microprocessors, multi-core processors that are faster and more powerful, but create new, very high current rails that many existing PMUs cannot support. These new microprocessors are being used in smartphones, tablets, gaming devices, and other portable products, but designing power management for these devices presents new challenges with board space, design time, and thermal design. Well now, TI is announcing the LP8755, a multi-phase DC to DC converter that supplies up to 15 amps output current with high efficiency. The LP8755 contains six step-down DC to DC converter cores, which are bundled together in a six-phase buck converter, providing step-down conversion over a wide range of output current, improving battery life and energy use for the end user. While meeting the complex power management requirements for new applications processors, the LP8755 also means less design complexity, smaller board space, and faster design time. The LP8755 reduces your design complexity by supporting a wide range of power management requirements with the same device and footprint. So you can use one device that fits multiple designs and various power requirements, allowing the reuse of existing designs. You can shrink your total solution size since the LP8755 uses integrated FETs, and you can use smaller, thinner inductors while delivering 15 amps max load current. And the LP8755 gives you flexibility by allowing optimization of the switching frequency to maximize efficiency or minimize solution size. Let me show you how the LP8755 works. What we have here on the bench is a power supply, electronic load, an oscilloscope, and most importantly, the LP8755 evaluation module. Taking a look at the evaluation module, in the center we have the LP8755. For each respective output, there's an inductor and capacitor, three on one side, three on the other. Let's take a look at the efficiency of the LP8755. On this display, we're showing efficiency across a wide range of output currents. At low output current, we're in a low power PFM mode. As we continue to raise current, we go into a PFM mode, and eventually at higher currents, a PWM mode. As we continue to raise the current in PWM mode, we add phases while maintaining high efficiency. Conversely, while reducing the current, we shed phases. All of this is done quickly, automatically, and without any noise or disturbance. Let's take a look at the phase adding and shedding of the LP8755 a little more closely. On the scope, we're measuring four of the phases from the EVM. Phase zero, phase one, phase two, and phase three. The first phase is currently operating in a PFM mode at low current, but as I increase the current, it transitions into PWM mode. I can continue increasing the current until an additional phase is added. Again, I'll increase the current until now three phases, continue to increase it until four phases are operating in PWM mode. Conversely, as I reduce the current, phases are shedded until finally the first phase is again operating in PFM mode. In addition, the LP8755 gives you protection features that include short circuit protection, current limits, output and input over voltage protection, under voltage lockout, temperature warning, and shutdown functions. So that's just a quick overview of TI's LP8755. You can learn more at ti.com slash LP8755. There you'll get a lot more product information, including reference designs, the downloadable software, an orderable evaluation module, free samples, and other design resources from TI. That'll wrap things up for this video. Thanks for watching.